can't think of one person that didn't gave me a dollar or a coin. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you plenty of people that got them and doubted me. Plenty of people that got them and they, they like what I do, love what I do, but just hate doing it. All of it. Mopping in the Bentley, smoking more hey, rocks. Hey. Pocket full of mother blue, blue rocks. What is up, you two? Welcome back to On The Gas Show, and we're back with another video, guys. And today's gonna be a really, really exciting vlog just because we are here with my boy Lalo as drastic changes, picking up one of one. The ODG for 2024 is here. Now, we dropped it off, guys, because we were gonna do a little bit of color matching here and there. Now, there's a list that we gotta do, and the first stop was right here with my boy Lalo, drastic changes, and we're gonna get everything color matched. After here, it's gonna go to a suspension shop so we can drop it. We got wheels coming, we got badass tires, we got badass interior, sound system, supercharger, the whole nine yards. But the first stop was here on Boy Lalo. And we got this beautiful truck here. And it actually looks amazing. Check out the new On The Gas 2024 Ford F-150, guys. Let's go. And there it is guys, 2024 F-150, the on the gas way. Now this is the first step to getting this truck built and we can't drop it over here with my boy Lalo now. So my boy Lalo, now it took us a little bit because we had to order some stuff. Right. And now explain to us what all did we paint? Did we do this? Did we do that? People want to know exactly what we did. Okay. Now it looks, it looks good. It looks badass. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of little details that we went overboard yeah. to, to make it look right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, behind the scenes things that yeah. had to take place for it and to look like this. Let's start with the grill. Uh -huh. This grill is an STX grill. These trucks come equipped with an XL grill, but on the XL grills, they're all one piece. This is a two piece grill, so like this can be detached. If you were to tape up the XL grill and just try to paint the border, you're gonna have a tape line on the plastic and that just looks kind of tacky. Yeah. So I know that this truck is gonna be in the showroom, so it has to look good in person, not just in pictures. Yes. So the only way to do this is to actually have something that's detachable. And so I'm glad Bethel uh, went this, this way and we ordered it. Of course, so of course. Now, it's better. it looks really, really, really similar to the original grill. Yeah. And we're gonna compare them right here, right next to each other. We got the grill. And this is the original grill that this truck came with. Yeah. Now, this one is off a STX Ford, right? Right. Uh, now, it looks really, really similar, but this is a one-piece grill. What my boy Lalo is trying to say is that in order for us to get it painted this nice and look this clean, we needed to get this grill because this is a two-piece. You can actually take this part off and get everything painted the way we're supposed to be and then put this plastic back on. On this one, we were talking about yeah. maybe taping it right here and this, this, and that. Then you still had to get inside these grooves. Oh, yeah. You're not going to have good paint cover. Yeah, true, true, Then true. on top of that is that, see, there's a separation. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what you want, you want separation yeah. for it to look factory. Factory, yes. Like if somebody's going to buy it, you got to give them a good product. Of course, of course, yeah, yeah. The it's, uh, it's the on the gas way, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to give out nothing. Uh, you don't want to give somebody half done grill. Half ass job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I so, don't want to say that, but no, no, you can say you, that. You can say it now. So we ended up spending more money on buying this grill, but it's it was worth it just because it looks yeah. a lot cleaner. Now, if we put them right next to each other, we can clearly see that it's this grill yeah. is a little bit different. Now, this one has these holes right here, and that one does. This one's flush. This one's flush, yes. And the holes, these are bigger holes. Those are a little smaller. So you literally got to compare them right next to each other where you can get the difference. Let me hold it that way. That way the camera can see it. Yeah. So it's, it's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. So if you bring it down aquí abajo, so literally right there you can tell the small holes, the bigger ones. This right here, it's, cl it's clean right here. This one has them. And again, this is a one piece grill. This cannot take come apart. You cannot take this off. This one, you can take this off, sand this down, right. got it painted and everything. So that was one big thing that we had to wait. Now this truck could have been yeah. done a long time ago. Oh yeah, we're, it, we're, we're faster than what it takes for parts to get here. Yes. This, a job like this takes about three to four days. Three to so four it's, days. It's so it's not about who did it first, it's who does it best. best. And of course, you know, we like to go above and beyond on some builds and this one is one of them. So we ended up finding, my boy Lalo actually found this grill and he said he actually recommended me. You know what? This is the best, the best thing to do to this truck. Change the grill where we can take it apart, and I can paint it the right way. And once we put it all together, once we have it in the showroom, it's uh, a real it's, nice job. Yeah, it gives it the final touch. Final touch. Yeah. Now that's one of the big main things that we change on this truck. Everything else that we're about to explain is yeah, not that hard. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the fender flares, bro, because that's yeah. a big thing to me. Yeah, man. This. So this is like the Shelby style fender flares. 
they're a little bit taller and they have like a little weather strip that way it separates the panel and the fender it doesn't get scratched that way then um it just looks a little bit more factory this way if you have a little stripping yeah there's people that just install them uh-huh with uh but, but plastic the... directly to the fender oh but so, it looks bad and it scratches it scratches yeah yeah so this like they say no, they don't like them you can just easily take them off and, and go on your way to go yeah yeah so we did wanted to add this little fender just because it makes the truck look a little bit more uh i feel like they look a little bit more cool now yeah. if you look at the shelby's the shelby's they do have a fender flourish just like this one and these were not that expensive they're like five six hundred bucks yeah right? they're not that bad so it's a good upgrade to get yes and it makes your truck look real good it looks it looks more i feel like it looks more fancy you know yeah. what i'm saying and then you can actually put a little wider wheel in the front all the way around just because it's sticks out more so if we were to get the shelby wheel and put it on this truck it's gonna look perfect but if we get a shelby wheel and put it on a truck without no fender the wheel sticks Man, you're out. you're gonna have rock splatter everywhere. yeah because yeah. the wheel sticks out a little bit so we ended up going with the with the nice little fender flare and i think it added a nice little touch also ended up uh, color matching these uh the fender badges the badges now we are waiting for the custom badges that we're getting done and we're going to be changing these out also we color match the mirror not everything just a little bit we like to leave a little bit of plastic just because in the front grill you can see there's a lot of plastics that we left not painted that they are raw so we wanted to give it that two-tone style right. uh, well, separation separation mm -hmm. as well we did the, the handle of course that's a fucking must and then on the back of course another fender flare makes the look truck look nicer it just makes it look more complete it doesn't look like a work truck anymore no it looks like an xlt truck it looks like, like a, it looks uh, like a limited to me yeah like a king wrench right no it does it changes the whole not the whole look but it does give it a Man, nicer it, look it gives it it gives it like that uh that complete look yes that's the mm -hmm. that's the right one the, the only thing i like about these four is that they look so skinny okay well, but when you add these they look they look a little bit i mean more they're, there's not a wide body right but like it just enhances the look a little yeah, bit better if you look at it from right here frank you can see that it's a little bit it's more, wider it's mm -hmm. a little bit more wider it's got a little baby, baby hips on baby it. hips yeah baby hips and then of course we painted all oh, this is plastic right yeah so we knock out all the texture we primer them then we make them look like sheet metal okay all smooth all smooth yeah, yeah. So, and then, then then you spray it then we spray it. so we got this painted this painted and this painted of course and then we ended up going with the black f-150 yeah. and what is this this is paint as well so like this is a decal oh there's a decal so, so there's two different decals for this so okay one that's a sticker and this is more like an emblem oh but the emblem looks better than the sticker yes. because it sticks out a little bit yes. and it just gives it dimension this is an emblem an emblem it's a 3d it's, a 3D it's not emblem. a sticker that goes it's on top it's, it's an actual emblem that goes inside of the f-150 right. that already comes with the tailgate and then of course we painted the bumpers and the sensors you, you painted the Man, sensors the sensors are another thing you have to be careful with like if you paint too much you can obstruct the the ability of it detecting yeah, something yeah. behind you so you have to have the right millage. A lot of people don't paint the sensors. Because they're afraid to mess them up. Yeah, the ones on the Shelby, they're not painted. Yeah, it's just silver, huh? They're silver, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just that Shelby sends them out somewhere else to get painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't want to be involved of, of course. hey, they don't work. Of course. But we paint them all the time, so we figured out you just gotta how much know, it takes. You just got to know how. You just right? got to know Pretty how. much. So these, my boy Lalo painted the sensors, and it actually looks really nice. So then again, all this color match, the F-150 emblem looks real good. The bumper, and of course, we are waiting for our badges. These are coming off. We're getting some custom badges. Four by four sticker. We took it off. Oh, the four by four. Yeah, this that makes that, it look cleaner. Yeah, it looked uh, it looked a little cheap. Yeah, you it know, cheesy. It looked, especially especially because it said four by four. Now the coolest thing about this truck is gonna be the interior, interior because yeah. my boy actually surprised us with some color matching inside of the truck. So check it out. I think that thing is perfect. It just looks perfect. You know, it's not too much paint. It's just, it's just right. So we ended up painting this bezel right here. And then of course it runs all the way into the other AC on the driver's side. And I think it was a really, really nice touch. Yeah. You don't want too much or too little. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we didn't do nothing on the door panels. Yeah. The door panels are still original, but we did that. And I think that makes uh, it's a game it changer just, right it there. It makes it stand out from the rest. Yes, it does. And it, it looks does. clean, easy to keep It looks up like with. it came from factory, literally. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't, of course. We added the, the sauce here. Uh, it actually looks really nice. Uh, and this is about a bad, that nice little blue. What 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 is what's this? Blue it's called, called uh, Atlas Blue. Atlas Blue. Yeah, Real yeah. popular color, but this is the first sim cab that I see like this. Okay, in the, in this model, like yeah, fully yeah. color match. Fully color match. With the XCS grill, with the, XCS grill, yeah, the nice. fender flares. Yeah. 
and they everything. Usually, uh, come like charcoal, white, and black, right? Yes, yes, That's yes. That's the yes. most popular. Those right are now. the most common colors. We on this one, we decided to wait a little bit because we want to get this nice little blue. Because I know once we get it all done with the color matching and the wheels, this blue is really, really gonna pop. Oh, we did one more thing. Oh, the bell liner. The bell liner. I think that's a really important thing to do on a truck, especially if you're gonna be daily in this thing. You gotta put a bell liner in your truck. Just because, you know, you can just throw anything back here. And my boy Lalo specializes on these nice, crispy bell liners. I actually really like these bell liners just because they look so. It looks uniform. It looks uniform, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it looks like it's from the it. dealer. Yeah. Because I've seen some that look like, uh, like, like, mud. like mud, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like they, they, they look wet, but they look. Or real shiny sometimes too. Real shiny. Look, the thing yeah. is right with bell liners, you don't want it to look too shiny. Why it not? looks it looks um like you painted gloss over it. Yes, yes, yes. You yes, want yes. it like a matte finish. You like it, you want the bell line to look like plastic. Plastic and, and raspy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like like this, like where you can actually put stuff like the other ones that I've seen. It looks like if you step on it, you slip. Right, that's what I meant. Okay. Like uh looks too glossy looking. Too glossy, like it's yeah, not gonna yeah. Have no adhesion to yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. No, no, this is the thigh. This was this was badass. This is badass. And we are building this truck, guys, for our people out there at Friendly Ford in Crosby, Texas. Number one dealer in the single cabs and Shelby's. So they got a bunch of single cabs coming. So if you're looking for a badass truck, make sure to hit them up. Friendly Ford, Crosby, Texas. They got these. They literally get these and they sell within 30 minutes. If you want a badass truck, if you want a single cab from them, make sure to visit their store and order your truck because if you are waiting for them to get more trucks, by the time you pull up, guys, that truck's probably already sold. But if you want a guarantee on one of these F-150 single cabs 2024s, make sure to pull up and talk to my boy Jose or Blake and get you a truck ordered so whenever you your truck is guaranteed. And if you guys want to on the gas truck, well then talk to my boy Jose or Blake and maybe we can put you on the list because once we start producing these trucks, they're going to sell like TVs on Black Friday. You know what I'm saying? So... Visit our people at Friendly Ford and get you one of these trucks. And if you're looking for a four-door, they got everything. They got the four-doors, they got the diesels, they got the four-door Shelby's, they got the single cab Shelby's. Now the single cab Shelby's are a little bit harder to get just because 23 was the last year and that's why we got one. But they got these 2024s all day. So if you want to be whipping one of these trucks, make sure to visit our friends at Friendly Ford. And once again, big thanks to my boy Lalo appreciate for it, always hooking us up. Yeah. I literally call Lalo and be like, hey, I need a little job done. And I want to say something, I appreciate y'all's business. We've been very fortunate lately with all these Fords all and, these uh, Fords and all man, these builds you've yeah. been a very big uh, help to our shop and our growth that's what's up you help oh. me I help you you know what I'm saying at the end of the day we're just some Mexicans out here yeah. trying to make it in the US Just trying yeah. to wing it exactly yeah. and I think we're pretty we're doing a pretty good job we're doing a decent job a decent yeah I think so. we're not doing a good job we're, we're not stopping you well we're not stopping yeah, yeah I mean the, the sky is the limit you know what I'm saying I mean you can go the thing is you always got to hustle you always got to work you know what I'm saying if you stay determined and consistency and all that good stuff it's gonna get you to places now I told this to my boy Lalo man we've been actually working together for a couple of years now yeah, man for like almost 15 years 15 years, years yeah. 15 years damn and, we, and, he, and he started at a garage and then you worked at a dealer and then no oh, you did that in school and then yeah, you worked at a, a dealer i got an internship at a school then i worked at a dealer monument chevrolet and i started doing more side jobs on, at, on a garage in the, I, I worked out of a garage like a one bay garage yeah yeah then eventually we got here and got here so, now, now my boy got a big ass shop and doing all this work for all these insurance and of course He's hooking us up with our builds here and there now sometimes we do need you know stuff from one day to another and uh sometimes my boy lalo he's down for that stuff i called him for this one he was like hey i'm down bring it tomorrow so we literally just dropped it off and i know he's busy he's actually like sitting in the shop and got a bunch of work here and he was able to take us in and get this truck done for us now we're gonna be taking it to the drop shop right now so stay tuned because we got more shit coming Once a week, we haven't bought nothing this week though. We almost did at Manuel's. Yes, yeah, yeah. You see that dually? What's up, bro? How you doing? Alright guys, just made it here with my boy Tim and my boy John's, right? 
John. John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these faces probably look familiar just because these are the homies that actually backed out that badass 90 OBS with the sound system, the step side. My guys here did a fantastic job of been driving the shit out of that truck. It hasn't broke down or nothing. I saw you going on the freeway. It looks good. Freeway, drive it to the house. You know, take. I've been taking it to shows now and then all that good stuff. Because they did a badass job on that truck. We decided to bring this uh, brand new 2024 F-150. Now, it was kind of like a mission to try to get a good kit for this truck, right? right? There's a couple of them, and we ended up getting a real badass one as well, right? Man, there's a couple different options. John and I in the past have used some ride tech stuff okay. on a lot of the pro touring guys. Okay. Like I said, you know as well as anybody, you might pay a little bit more money for the kit, but you're going to get what you pay for. A better, yeah, yeah. We now, got the kit laid out right here. There right you go. I was about to ask if you had the kit to lay it on, but shit, he already knows what's up. All right, so this is not your regular typical drop kit. This thing actually comes with everything sway bars traction bars shocks upper control arms so i guess we're using the lower stock control arms uh so what are we all looking at right here because there's a bunch of stuff man with this kit here you're getting the traction bars up getting sway bar in the back and even on the ride tech coolovers they're adjustable oh so up and down well you can get a little more pressure like the, the cool over itself uh -huh. even a little more rebound i mean you okay. know from drag racing yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of that in the shocks it's all it, it helps it, with it, a lot it's all so on the, it's all on the shocks yes you can do some fine tuning on this kit and from the reviews a lot of the guys that are putting power to the ground I this like is what the kit to go to okay so we're doing a flip kit in the back and then of course we got the caltrax type deal uh -huh. which are right here and i'm guessing these are the mounts right, right. right. and then the sway bar, question, what does the sway bar do? It's gonna help with the anti-roll, it just handles. Okay, it's gonna handle better. Like, All right, cool, cool, You know cool, a lot cool. of times you're getting, you're gonna stick a little more. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you probably know more in the big trucks when you feel a little bit of lean, you yeah. got control. I can't say with these. Okay, okay. It so just helps with a lot of Pretty much the same lane. deal, the same deal on this right. one, okay, as well. Most trucks come, all of them have them in the front, Uh huh. but most trucks don't have one in the back. And if they do, it's not. It's not like this, okay. Now, these are the springs I'm guessing for the front, and these are the shocks for the front as well, right? And then we're keeping the stock bottom control arm, but we do got the upper control arm, which would help it with the uh, alignment as well, right? Yes, so it keeps everything geometry correct. Okay, cool, cool. So no spindles. Just use the stock spindles and stock lower control arms because of the four x four. Okay, four x four, yes, that's right, yeah, yeah. So we're just doing the upper control arms and of course the springs, and that's the rear, I'm guessing. Yeah, are we relocating the shocks in the back or they're in the same, they're gonna be in the same spot? Please. I think they are in the same spot. They're shorter shocks. They're short stock. shocks? Okay. This bolts to the front of the axle now. Yeah, and your track bar goes off. Bar comes off oh, this. Okay. So there, there's a lot of things that are bolt on, but are we gonna weld anything to the truck? Everything's bolt on. Everything's bolt on. Bolt on. Okay. We're not gonna weld anything. Can we weld? You can. I wanna weld this. This is this is the one that goes on the this rear. This goes end. on the front of the axle like this. Okay. This spring is under here. Okay. And the track bar is up here. Oh, like this, right? Like this. Yeah, just like that. This is a whole separate bracket from the flip kit bracket. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I see, I see, I see. All right, cool, 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 cool. Well, whatever you, whatever you think looks better. If if there's gonna be maybe a little bit of play and we can weld it, well then it's weld. Okay. This kit is never coming off anyways. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, cause I did hear some stuff about the right tech that everything was bolt on and maybe it'll move within the time. But if we can weld it, like okay. especially on the traction bars, yeah, yeah that, that it's never coming off. So yeah, that would probably be most important to keep it from slipping on that. Yeah, yeah, from 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 shifting or whatever. Maybe I think it goes. Yeah, it goes like that. Okay, cool. So, uh, all right, so we got a right tech drop kit now. How low can we go on this drop kit? Front uh, is adjustable from one to three inches. Okay. And rear is five and a half inches. Five and a half. Okay. So I think we're gonna give it like a nice three five drop. Okay. We will be going with twenty fours JTX, of course. And I think we're using like a two ninety five, forty, twenty four. Okay. So, since this truck is we're going to be sitting at the dealers, we don't want no rubbing issues. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that slam. We just want to give it the nice, nice stance, a nice stance and, and we want it to ride really, really good. And I think this is the best kit that is out there in the market. Definitely. And I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be good. Hell yeah. The wheels and tires? Or? I don't have the wheels. They're getting made right now. And then once we get the wheels and if we have any rubbing issues, we can always bring it back over here and we can adjust it. And uh, I do want to leave a little bit of clearance in the front and the back. I don't want it like real. It ain't for me. So if it was for me, I mean, I don't yeah. care. You know what I'm saying? Even if it don't turn, it's cool. But on this one, you know, it's going to be for sale. And all the other trucks that we're going to build, they're going to be available for you guys to buy them. So we want to give it just a nice little drop kit. I don't want people to be having issues that rub it here. We got to cut here. We got to cut there. Or it's, it's too low or it's the dry shaft is hitting or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So we want to give everybody a nice practical uh, ride and i think this is the best one that we found out there and now it's pricey like my boy tim said it's, it's a little pricey but 
you're paying for the good stuff. There's cheaper kits out there and it might not ride the same. It might be a little bit more stiff or it can be, you know, a little squeaky or whatever because I've had those kids where they squeak after a while and they ride like shit. It looks good when they're parked. It looks badass when it's parked, but once you start driving them, it doesn't, it doesn't perform like it's supposed to, especially on this one. We're doing the supercharger. It's gonna have around 750 horsepower. So we want the truck to look good and also ride good. And I think this is the best kit on the market. You take them wheels off and want to bolt up. Go have fun with the truck. There you go, yes. So there is another drop kit that it's only what wheel? The smallest was what? 22? No. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a 22? 22 is the smallest with the spindle. Yeah, there you go. So there's another drop kit that they sell, and it's cool and it's more a little bit more cheaper. But if we put that kit on this truck, we will never be able to put the stock wheels back on or a 20. It'll be, I think it'll be either 20 and up or 22 and up. So with this kit right here, once you get your wheels and everything, once we have the nice 24s, you can keep them like that. Or if you want to go back to stock wheels, you can always bolt up the, uh, the original. I believe those are like 17s, right? So we can bolt up back to 17s on it. Uh, if you're, I don't know, driving it to work and the 24 is too big and you want to put the back to, you know, want to go back to stock wheels, you can always do that. But if we were to put the other kit, well, then that means that we can never go back to the small wheels. We'll have to keep it big wheels. So that's why we ended up going with this kit as well. So that's another good point that my boy Tim was, uh, uh, brought up so how long is it going to take for you guys to to get this uh couple of days couple of days one day one day perfect so by friday right what's today wednesday thursday friday mm -hmm. yeah, perfect. cool well there you go thank it's you good hands. we'll be going back to the shop we're gonna leave these guys here to work anything cool because every time i come over here there's something cool something cool cool over there what's over there 61. oh yeah now we're talking about impalas because we got one we got two Oh, this is a 61. We talked about it last time. Now this is the bubble 61. They call them bubble 61s, right? Or what do they call them? Bubble top. Bubble top. Because it's hard top. Now the one we got is convertible. But yeah, this was a hard top. And these are really nice. And I like the 61 in parts just because the glass in the back is so big. Check this out. So pretty much, this is a, exactly the same car that we got, but we got a convertible, of course. This was a hard top. Look at this big ass window in the back which is really, really badass. You know, we found one really clean and we paid a lot of money. We paid. That's the one that's already got hydraulics on it? Oh, no. no. This is all original. You told me you wanted a 61 bubble top. My cousin has another one. Oh, no, that one guy's convertible. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's convertible. I think that's why it was a little bit, a little bit expensive. Yeah, uh, the 61 convertible he's gonna sell too. Red. <laughs> all red? All red. Oh, man. Stock or it's, uh, it's got work done to it? Yeah, right on it, so. Okay. 22s or so. Okay, 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 okay. Convertible. Big block in it. Okay, 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 okay. This one oh. here we're kind of cleaning up. He's on my phone. Like John design. All the firewall looks like the body. Oh, so it has the yeah. same roll here. The same tree. Yeah. So it's here, and then we got all this off because we're running all the AC lines through here. We we'll have a bulkhead, so you won't see a lot of the wiring. You won't see a lot of the hoses. You just something that you. You open a lot of hoods you don't notice but yeah. when you look at it next to another one you're gonna be like yeah Damn. so you're hiding everything through the fender everything will come that's through a here. good wow. idea they that's come a... out through here and go straight to the bulkhead yeah. so from here out yeah instead of having everything or yeah. under it or whatever everything through there and even from here to here we'll have a hard line so it'll be able to polish out okay. so when all this is done this will all get painted and then this will have just a couple of polished lines. You can probably go. do the heater hose line straight into there it. There you all go. Polish so this is going to be a nice little car uh, before it's done. Oh, that was nice too. Damn. For seven. How much? Uh, I'm not sure. I have to ask him. Ask him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that 61. We just put the interior in it. That's all new. The dash is new. The is wheels it? and tires are brand new. Is that original? Original convertible? Original convertible. Yeah. Yeah, those are hard to get, man. That's why I was, man, I paid pay top dollar for this one. But Where it's- Where did you get that one out of? I bought it in Dallas. Oh. Yeah. It's been parked since 1973 on a lift. Oh, wow. So it's been parked forever. And then they, they brought it down, homeboy over there got it, and then I was like, well, let me buy it, and he was like, fuck.
What is this, like a Cadillac? Okay. Yeah. Y'all guys are doing everything to this one? Yeah. Complete build? Well, no, this is my personal car. But oh, it's your car. We're changing it up for the guy that owns the property. Oh, okay. He's in it. Like racing and gold cars. He's got a couple of them. Uh-huh. So we're going to finish him with piping and do some stuff like that. Oh. Work out some stuff. There you go. Now these are these are really long. This one has a skirt to the back, so you don't see about this much of the wheel. Okay, and then all the interiors get done. You know, scope will do a bunch of stuff. On yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. All the interior okay. But this is a nice car. A couple projects are done. This is a, this is a long project though, right? Oh, you know, it is that personal stuff. It goes right to the back burner. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Right, I'll see you all Friday. All right, all right, man. All right, all right, man. I'll see you.